Hi everyone, this is Jörg, which is German for George, back here with another career clip from Find a Job in Germany in Berlin. I would like to talk about an issue that is always on the table. It is never gone and it's always relevant. Some people love talking about it, others hate it, and that is salary. And I also know that many people are really curious to find out about this, I have to say, honestly, very relevant question on how much they can make when they actually find a job in Germany. And to be honest, it's not even about this question. What you should focus on is not asking me or Tamo or Raul or whoever, what can I make in Germany? But you should really and definitely be able to answer. What are my salary expectations? What it comes down to is that you're able to really answer this question when you are invited for an interview. And I want to give you my five cents on this. Really try to practice saying it. Really try to practice giving this answer in front of a mirror at home because uh, a recruiter will notice right away on whether you did your homework on this or not. You need to be able to, first of all, say it naturally. It needs to come out naturally. It cannot just be like, oh, I would like 50,000 question mark. No, no, no. You need, and this is the first important thing, obviously, you need to do your research. How do you do your research? You can go on Glassdoor, you can check Indeed, all other job search engines that doesn't really matter but the research here is what it comes down to first because otherwise you are going to be ending up asking for something ridiculous either too high or too low and it's not really that hard to find out more about that there are salary reports there are obviously a lot of statistics and data on this next and this is also how you are going to be able to respond to this question in the interview what am I looking for it's gonna be very important for you to understand what your goals are in all this whether or not you're starting out with 50 or 60 or 70 really depends on where you're coming from I really don't have to say here that probably you should also do a little bit of homework and research on your expenses on your lifestyle because again if you have some really you know expensive hobbies yeah, you might want to have more. I've seen people that will say, I would just be happy starting out with 45, 50, 55,000 euros per year. You know, what I'm trying to say here is really that each and everybody will have their own demands, their own interests, their own starting point. And this is quite frankly also the reason why I cannot give you a satisfying answer if you guys ask people, how much can I make? Again, it's about you being literally able to answer the question, what are your salary expectations? Which brings me back to the scenario which you would be faced in if it were a real interview, because they're gonna be asking you. First, I mentioned you need to do your research, really important. Now, second, it's important for you to put the number down and give them, I usually suggest a bandwidth because it's not just about the number, right? Uh, yes, it's a cornerstone, but you don't just wanna say a number and then just leave it at that. No, you need to give a bandwidth and obviously that also shows that you did your research and it also shows the company, hey, yeah, there's somebody who really did do some research on this. So let me just say, uh, for example, you are a JavaScript front-end developer, uh, Focus, Angular or React, I don't know what, you may be looking at 55 to 60, but also to 65,000 euros. It really depends on, and here it comes again, not just the bandwidth regarding your um, expectations and what the market is offering but also your skill set your experience you just started out well it's most likely gonna be somewhere in the 50s and the 55,000 euros but if you're already experienced with three to four to five to six depending years of experience and you bring a wider stack to the table obviously you can also ask for more just a few examples like this okay now when you say it you also need to sound confident okay and it needs to come out naturally it really needs to sound like you have been saying this to more than just one person already on more than one occasion. And then finally, let me tell you one thing. It's really no longer just about the salary. It really is beyond that. And this is what I really like to share with everybody here. Um, in Germany and I would say Western Europe or, or even in the US, North America, we are beyond the discussion of how much you're gonna be making. We are right now involved in discussions that revolve around four day weeks 
four day weeks where people go to work four days a week and still get paid 100 percent and this is because people care about work-life balance that's because people care about all these other things which are not salary related and which brings me to my last point you should also have something ready to say and be able to say what it is that you're you know beyond salary expecting from your job you need to be able to express that as well so you might talk about perks or benefits you might want to talk about personal development opportunities you might want to really make all these things an issue as well it's really no longer just about salary believe me let me also and then i'm almost done wrap this up by saying it's also about you and beyond perks benefits opportunities and yes salary to find out about the team find out about the corporate culture because i have met so many people and none of them have ever been happy where they were paid a hundred thousand euros but the team sucked you don't want to work in a team that sucks you don't want to work for a boss or a team lead who sucks quite frankly those a hundred thousand euros per year in such a job that's just a waste of lifetime if you ask me personally really understanding the larger picture here is what is key all right i hope this was useful to you and i'm looking forward to just sharing more insights in the future stay tuned all the best this is jörg at finding job in germany if you're interested in joining our personal contract program please go ahead and watch our 30 minute video training you need to do that because you're gonna have to answer a few questions about it when you have your get to know call with us in any case we'll then take it further with you send us your cv or your linkedin and and we'll be happy to meet you. All the best from Berlin.